Hey y'all, my name is Patrick Haggerty with ROI Training. And in today's video, I want to show you how to use the Google Cloud Console to edit the permissions for files in cloud storage. Now, just as a resource, uh, I've started collecting some links I find useful in Google Cloud and putting them in a uh, centralized document here. You can find this file at roi-links.com slash gcp-links. If you go into the data cloud storage section, I have some nice cloud storage links, including that one right there, which talks a lot about access control. If I'm looking at my access control document, they tell me that when you build a cloud storage bucket to store files, there's really a default setting you can make at the bucket level as far as how permissions are handled. The default is actually fine-grained permissions. That is, I can use access control list and set access permissions file by file by file. Over here in my test project, I created a bucket fine-grained and you can actually see if you go to fine grained and check the configurations, you can see that my access control is set to fine grained. The alternative would be uniform. Google actually recommends that as a best practice, though that is not the default, right? Uniform permissions means the entire bucket has one set of permissions. Uniform is a best practice for, according to Google because um, it's much easier to manage, right? Um, I create a bucket for a particular type of files with a particular level of access, and I have all the files with one set of permissions. Fine-grained is exactly that. It's more fine-grained, but now I have to manage permissions file by file by file, which can lead to security misconfigurations if you're not really good in keeping track of what those permissions are file by file by file. Okay? Um, just like I have a fine-grained bucket with fine-grained permissions, you can see I also have configured a uniform bucket. And if I check my uniform bucket configurations, its access control is set to uniform. Now, to test my access control, uh, I've also done a couple other things. I've gone into my identity and access management and I've added an account using one of my other email addresses just as a tester and I've given it browse access. Browse access in Google Cloud basically means I can go to the project and I could click around in the project, but I can't really see anything, right? So what I mean by that? Well, if I go to the browser homepage here where I should be able to see buckets, if I visit that page with my Hack and Hack Consulting, it gives me a security problem, right? I can get into Google Cloud, I can kind of see all the services, but if I view anything like storage buckets, it just tells me I don't have permissions to actually see the buckets themselves. Okay, now let me go into my uniform bucket to start with and change permissions in the uniform bucket. In the uniform bucket, you can't change permissions file by file. You can only set them for the entire bucket. So let me go to my permissions tab here and set permissions for the entire bucket. I'm going to add my Hag at Hag Consulting email account. That's gonna be adding my other browser window there. And I'm going to set it up as a storage object viewer. So I'm saying that Hag at Hag Consulting can now see files inside of my uniform bucket, okay? If I go to the Uniform Bucket homepage, that's the Uniform Bucket homepage, if I copy that URL out now and I take it over to my Hack and Hack Consulting window and go in and take a look, I can now see the files, both test one and test two. And as a matter of fact, if I click on test one or test two, I can see its details. I can also actually visit the URL for the file and actually get access to the file itself. Okay, Uniform Permissions one set of permissions for all the files in the file, cloud storage bucket. If instead I go back to my fine-grained bucket, the fine-grained bucket, I could set default permissions for the bucket as a whole, but the thing is, is I can override those default permissions file by file. So if I go to test one, for example, here's the test one file, 
right up here, you'll see there's an edit permissions. I can edit permissions for that one file. Now, if you try editing permissions when you're using Uniform, when you click that edit permissions, it'll give you an error. So I'm looking at the test one text permissions. It'll show me my default permissions right now. Let me go ahead and add an entry. I'm going to do a user. Which user? It's going to be my Hag at Hag Consulting. Okay. What do I want to make Hag at Hag Consulting? I'm going to make Hag at Hag Consulting a reader. If I save that, I've now tweaked the permissions for this one file. If I go back to my fine grain fun bucket here, and I go to my Hack Consulting window, uh, with the uniform bucket, I changed it for the bucket, and again, I saw all the files. Here, if I try to get a listing of the files with my fine grain bucket, it still doesn't give me the default permission to list the files. I would have to do that at the bucket level, right? But if I go to the direct link to my test one file where I did change the permissions, right? See, that's the direct link right there. If I go to the direct link for that file in my Hack at Hack Consulting, I can see the contents of the file. So again, fine grain permissions, coarse grain permissions. Fine grain permissions, set the permission file by file. Coarse grain permissions, uniform permissions, set it at the bucket level. Okay. By the way, in my documentation file here, you can actually go read a little bit more about how to do some of these permission changes like I did. I showed you the console way to do it. You also, of course, could do all this with gcloud commands. Excellent. So, a nice video on editing permissions on your buckets. I'm Patrick Haggerty with ROI Training, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.